I was just thinking, you know, we're talking about cities and having problems. How long have cities existed, including the first settle permanent settlement, say Jericho, 8,000 before Christ? How many years does that to today? 20,000 years? What are we now, 2,200 added to 8,000, 10,000 years. It took 2.6 million years for human beings to develop a brain large enough to, to think. And we're talking about 12,000 years, which, which was nothing in time. And we're expecting perfect answers to communal settlement. So relax. <laughs> we teach. I say this because I'm an architect and have taught design studios endlessly. We tend to idealize the world that we, and smooth the world around. I remember when I worked for on the Image of the Cities research book with Kevin Lynch, K. Jerry Kepish, his compatriot, asked me to take a walk down Washington Street on a busy day and note, just note all the things that I saw. I made this tabulation of all the things that I saw, where the sun was shining, what noise there was, what signs there were, and so on. And I came up and presented my work and said, this is such an unbelievably confused Washington Street. I don't know how anybody makes sense of it. Because at that time, all urban design was, was Victor Gruen's work and how to make, use modernism to clean up conflict. Shopping centers had unified signpost control and uh, here I was trying to say the real world is infinitely complex, and yet, because we have 10 to the 12 neurons in our brain, each connecting to 5,000 other sites, we have the electricity, electronic system which can manage such complexity. I think it's a message worth remembering. Maybe it will become much clearer. But I think working as you do as an urban designer in the midst of a dialectic of opposites is an intelligent place to be.